Pudding sweets. I've just been to the family mart in Japan to get these delectable looking desserts. Hi, I'm Scott. So I was walking past the family mart a few days ago and I saw this sign in the window. They've come up with these four different pudding sweets. We've got the two traditional ones, plus we've got two new ones. And these are the two new ones. So pudding, or caramel pudding, creme caramel, whatever you call it in your country, have been a long time favorite here in Japan. You can often see them pop up in Japanese anime or sometimes in the Japanese movies. If you go to the convenience store or the supermarket, you can find really cheap ones, but the quality is always top notch. They're so smooth, creamy, a little bit sweet, and the caramel sauce on the top is like bittersweet. One of the most famous ones is called Pucci Pudding, which uh, they come in three different sizes, uh, as you can see from this photograph here or you can buy them in packs of three. So if you're looking for a really cheap pudding to try out uh, during your time here in Japan, you can buy these in the supermarket, sometimes in the convenience store. So first up, we've got the pudding tart. So this is like a biscuit base or a cookie base. I don't know how you would describe that base uh, with a dome of pudding on the top and it's covered with a rich caramel sauce. Okay, let's go in for a closer look. So we can really feel the evolution of the pudding with this one here. So let's crack it open and see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, look at that. I love the way it just sits perfectly in that little casing. And as always, um, it's got this little plastic sheet so that it doesn't stick to the top. I tell you, they think of everything. Take a closer look at that. Now, in the video, um, I was eating it with a fork and a plate, but I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm just gonna go straight in <laughs> with my hands. So it's funny that the, even the plastic casing that this comes in, it's really soft, so it enables you to like get it out really easily. If this plastic casing was like firmer or more solid, it would be impossible to get this out. I tell you, they think of everything. So look at it, it's so easy just to take out in your hands like this. See, the, the design. Wow. So it's pretty heavy. <laughs> oh, whoa, this seems, it's got quite, it's not all that big, but it looks like it's got quite a lot of eating in it. So first let's have a little bit of a, bit of a smell. Oh, the caramel smell. It smells really good. I'm, I'm holding it, the, the biscuit base here, like the tart base. It kind of feels crumbly already. So let's just go straight in for the taste test. <laughs> now, as a pudding, this has a much firmer texture than your average pudding. It's more, how should we say, it's like a cheesecake. It's quite firm, it's got really good texture, so it all holds together well when you're eating it like this. The base itself is also quite firm. It's difficult to explain the base 
it's not a cookie, it's not bread. It's like a mixture between a cookie and bread kind of thing. <laughs> it has a slight sweetness, but the top part is sweeter than the bottom part. So the balance is really nice. The caramel sauce is bitter, but it's also sweet at the same time. So you're getting a really nice balance. Let me just have a little bit more here. Now, when I have my dessert, I do like a, a nice bit of coffee. So today I'm having Georgia the Black. This is actually my favorite iced coffee. So I buy this all the time. You can find this in, in the convenience stores or in the vending machines. Um, it's uh, got a really nice flavor and it's quite mild, but it's um, got a nice tang to it. I really like this coffee. And it's got a beautiful aroma as well. You wouldn't think like these bottles of coffee have like a very distinct smell of coffee, but actually they're really, really good. And another thing which I like about this bottle is it's really kind of flimsy. It's not flimsy, but <laughs> when you squeeze it like this, it, it's actually quite soft. So I just love holding this in my hand as well. It's just, it's just a lovely coffee. So the tart base is actually quite moist. Uh, it's moister than I thought it would be. And uh, it goes nice because as I said, the the pudding itself is actually quite firm. It's not dry, it's firmer than your average pudding, but the moistness of the, um, the tart base and the slight dryness, and it's not dry, the slight firmness, uh, they go to, together really well, and I think it's a really well-designed dessert. Lovely balance of sweetness, bitterness, textures, fantastic. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we got the pudding sandal, which is basically a pudding sandwich. Now, they've been even more innovative with this one here. As I say, puddings normally come in a cup or served upside down on a plate. So we had the first one was with a tart. This one's in a sandwich. What are they gonna think of next? So I can see there, pudding sandal. So let's go in for a closer look. So as you will have seen from that video, I tried to get fancy and I put it on a plate and had it with a fork, but it just wasn't happening, was it? <laughs> it was all over the place. I made a right dog's breakfast of it. So this time, again, I'm just gonna go straight in with the hands. I'm not gonna put it on a plate. <laughs> I'm not gonna embarrass myself, okay? So let's just crack it open here. Now, this one, luckily, is the right way up. The one which I opened the video came <laughs> a wee bit to the side, didn't it? So you can see there it comes in this lovely little package here. And as, I, as I've stated before in other videos, it's got these little bits sticking out here, which enables you to grab it and take it out. It's like taking a baby out of the cradle. <laughs> so <laughs> let me just do this. Do, 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 do. See, you can hold it like that and it's, it doesn't break up. Now, as I hold it in my hand here, I can feel this is really fluffy. It's got a fair weight to it because it's got a pudding inside and also it's got lots of cream, um, but it's got a fair weight to it. You can see there, and I'll show you this side too. You can actually see the pudding right in the middle there. So it really is, <laughs> it's a real pudding sandwich. So let's go straight in. No forks this time. You can see that bitter caramel sauce on the top and the cream 
is supposed to be Hokkaido cream, which is one of the best creams in Japan. And the cake itself is really fluffy and very eggy. So puddings, of course, have a lot of eggs in them. This cake also feels like it's very eggy too. So the combination is quite rich. It's richer than I thought it was gonna be. But at the same time, the, because this is really fluffy, see how soft and fluffy that is? It's a very soft um, sponge cake. And um, it feels almost like a Castella. If you've ever had a Castella before, um, which is really popular in Japan, um, it, that the high egg content makes it feel richer than normal sponge cake, but this is nice. Let's go in for a little bit more, eh? Mm -hmm. Sometimes things taste so much better when you eat them with your hands. I really recommend you eat this with your hands. Don't go in with any of those silly forks and stuff. Straight in there, look at that. Absolutely majestic. Um, I can feel that the, the sponge itself, it's actually quite moist. So as I hold it in my hand, I can feel it's getting a little bit sticky and it's kind of compacting, but uh, the cream, the cream itself is actually not too sweet. So because of the bitter caramel sauce and the sweet pudding, again, like I always say with the desserts in Japan, the balance is just unbelievable. Really good, and this is getting better and better the more I have of it. <laughs> okay, let's look at the scores on the doors. I'm going to give the pudding tart four out of five. The taste was great, lovely balance. Uh, the, the base itself was nice and moist, uh, but not, not too dry. So ov overall, uh, it was a really very pleasurable experience. <laughs> Sorry. Next, I'm going to give the um, pudding sando I'm going to give this five stars. I don't know, it just, it was fun to eat. It felt really nice in my hands. It held its shape actually. Don't eat it with a fork on a plate or it's just going to go all over the place. But um, this was almost perfect. So definitely, uh, if you're in Japan and you find these pudding sweets, give them a try. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.